Hi everyone, Dadam115 here, and today I'm going to be playing Fable Anniversary. Yeah, uh, this is the remake of the original Fable <clears throat> that came out on the original Xbox ten years ago. I myself have played it. I thought it was a really good game for its time. Although I don't really like the sequels, they sort of suffered a lot because the first game was a lot to live up to. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't particularly enjoy them. Special Fable 3 it really wasn't needed and the whole like money gathering versus uh, keeping promise thing was a bit... I don't know, it seemed to... It, it, it didn't seem to fit very well. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, get started, shall we? Oh, yep, yeah. oh jeez, my hard drive, whatever. So this is basically 10 years on from the original with updated graphics and... A whole new UI system looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna do a new game, I guess. I do like this actually. It's better than those 2D menus you got. Oh, this must be the loading screen. Anyway, yeah, this is gonna bring back a lot of memories for me. As I said, I played this. I played the original Fable and then I played the expansion called The Lost Chapters and then I got it on the PC and played it on there as well and now I'm playing it on the Xbox 360 updated version. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Oh, wow. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother. Mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. Okay, sir. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay, I know what to do. Wow, first impressions. It looks very, very pretty. Much better than the old version. They've done a really good job of reskinning this whole place. I mean, the character, if I can look at his face. Oh, I don't. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Wow, he looks really good. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get on with it. Find and got to do good deeds for people around Oakville. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're kicking chickens. I remember doing this. I just seem to remember there was a chicken kicking game in this where you have to kick at the furthest and win prizes. Don't worry, kid. I know where she is. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. I I know where she is. Good morning. Just like his mother, can't he? Yeah, if you told A down, then you run. Remember the trader with the list. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. That moustache, look at it, wow. And it seems... It looks even better in high definition. Yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. 
Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I can't afford it at the moment, so I'm going to press no. But howie, before I eat them myself. Well, you're not a very good trader if you do that. Three gold coins, that's all they cost. Okay, I get it. Three gold coins before you eat them all, because you're such a good trader. Anyway, where's this? Where is this teddy bear? I think there's a. I'll have you know I don't have any friends, thank you very much, so I'm not going to do that. I believe it's a bully booting up a kid or something that you have to get it back from. I don't know where he is at the moment, so I'm going to go do this one. Well, I think, I believe, you have to be guarding barrels while he goes to the toilet. Oh, oh thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? Yeah. I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Okay, sir. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. Okay. So basically, this is probably a boring quest to do to start My off with. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. So basically, yeah, you got to stand here and you not touch the barrels like while them. this little overgrown fetus goads you oh, into breaking them. So boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? No, shut up, you whiny little shit. Come on, there's still time before he gets back. I'll smash you in a minute. Oh, you're no fun at all. Bye then. Are you not gonna go? No? Fine. Where's this guy? Have your stupid good deed then. Oh well, I get gold piece out of it. What do you get? Nothing. Where is this guy? There he is, he's coming over there. <coughs> Excellent thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Ah. I've done a good deed. I get a two plus for that. So yeah, this little kid. Just marching off like he's a big deal. Anyway, that's the first good deed done. Um, we've got to do f four more. Right, it's that girl with her rosy. I, I haven't found it yet, don't worry. I'm, gonna, I'm on the way. Honestly, where's that good for nothing husband of mine? Ah, the cheating What's husband. I remember this one. Husband of mine. With some woman, I don't doubt. Probably. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Okay. I believe Honestly. he is up around here somewhere, behind a house, talking to some woman. He's not actually cheating on the wife, he's just talking to her. I mean, you can talk to other women whilst you're in her shit, right? That's not bad. Oh, wait, I was wrong. <laughs> What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? You just kissed her. Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. <sighs> but a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? No. I tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Tempting, but no. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go do the good deed way of doing this. If you just said yes there, he would have given you a gold piece and you don't have to tell the wife. But I'm going to go down and tell her because, you know, it's the right thing to do. There she is. Where's that filthy le <laughs> right, just get this again. If you find it should come up with an option saying tell her. Yep. You have. Press A. Right. I'm going to turn him into bulverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. No problem. I never got deed. Now she's gonna run up and have a go at him. So I've done two good deeds at the moment. I love to know she knows exactly where he is, even though I just. That's it, run, bitch. Anyway. My mother was right about 
Looks like their marriage is over. Okay, daddy -o. Uh, Let's go this way. I've got to say, this does look visually stunning compared to the original version. Well, the original version was good for its time, but this is just something else. I can't wait to see what the rest of the game is. Ah, here we go. Here's the bully. I want more pocket money next week. Right. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. I bet I could. Press LT and press X. Okay, right, let's beat him up. Oh, there we go. I just I'm beat sorry. the crap out of him. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. I swear that's the Thank kid from you. last time. He's trying to you make these break boxes. Good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. And we get the teddy that the girl was after. The uh, Rosie teddy bear. Okay, so that's the third good deed. I believe if you give this teddy to the girl, that's another deed done. Yep. You found Rosie. Thank you so much. You're Come welcome. On, Rosie, let's change your stuffing. Okay. Um, one more good deed, I think. Uh, where do I do it? Uh, is it this guy? You're setting a splendid example, lad. I know. Is it this guy? No, it's another You're town guard. A splendid example, Says exactly the same as the other person. Ah, oh, it's my sister. Hello, little brother. Hello. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. Classic. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Okay. Um. All right, I've got to find where this last good deed is, I guess. Or I can just give him, go to my dad and get the money and then buy the uh, present for my sister. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. Because I don't know if there's he any more quests around here. His mother will be pleased. Oh, get out of the way. Okay, right, so here we go. Let's talk to my dad. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? No, I'm going in now. Well, I have already spoken to him, but never mind. <clears throat> Let's go get those uh, presents for my sister. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Am I though? Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they're yours. Okay. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? And that is not at all creepy. Chocolates. I got one going cold left over. Anyway, let's go, um give these chocolates to my sister and then get the game going I suppose Teresa give the chocolates to your sister yeah going to bring me chocolates it's just like my dream wow okay you sports surprise you bitch let's go home mother will be back for my party any minute now okay let's go this is where it all kicks off wait there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> oh. It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. <laughs> got one. Oh. Oh, he must have been blind not to see me there. Evil had come to Oakvale. 
bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Wow. I'd say that would be the worst birthday ever. Wow, everything's on fire. Okay, right. Oh no, I can't go that way, can I? I have to go around here. <clears throat> Everyone is dead. Everyone. I think that's my dad down there. Yeah. leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Oh! I just got an achievement. Cool. So... In the midst of an attack on a village, burning, everything's burning, everyone's dead, and then some guy reaches out to you and then you ask you to go with him. Seems legit, right? Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. So I guess I'll end the first episode here. That's been the first part of this Fable anniversary series. Anyway, uh, a lot happened in that first part actually. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Oh. oh wow, Jesus Christ. <laughs>